teen obesity, it's an overwhelming problem here in the islands. But the good news is that a new program is being implemented by the state health department along with the Department of Education to help support healthy eating habits for 180,000 public students statewide. And here now to explain the DOE's new wellness program is Lola Irvin. She's the program manager for the Healthy Hawaii Initiative for the Department of Health. Good morning, Lola. Good Thank morning. you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, we know that obesity is a problem nationwide. Uh, the uh, president's uh, wife, Michelle Obama, yes. taking it as a big issue right now. So what's the problem like here in Hawaii compared to other states? Well, less than one out of three of our kids, um, well, uh, about one out of three out of our kids are overweight or obese. And so about 70% of our kids that are healthy weight. And so that's really a concern. Um, because as we look at adults, too, our adults are heavy. Less than half of our adults are, are at a healthy weight. Someone told me something shocking lately is mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, people getting dialysis. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of young people in there. So why are these rates going up, and why is it becoming, uh, continuing to be a problem? It's really about our food environment and mm -hmm. our physical environment. We've really changed our norms, and so that we expect um, to be able to pick up convenience foods. We've forgotten how to prepare foods at home. And in terms of the physical activity, if we think about, about how we got here, we got here by car, mm -hmm. walked through a door, and then sat down. And we do that through the course of the day, then walk out of the door, get into a car, and then go home. And so we've engineered physical activity out of our day. All right. So how do you change people's attitudes and behaviors and, and getting them out there to eat better and to exercise more? It's really about changing the norms, and some of that is done through policy so that the healthy options are the default. So, for example, in our partnership with the Department of Education, we support the wellness guidelines. So parents can expect that when their kids go to school, um, their breakfast and the lunch will meet the USDA guidelines. In terms of, um, you know, fundraisers, you know how we expect to have candies and stuff? Mm -hmm. Instead, there'll be healthy options. So a lot more schools are turning to fun runs and things that involve physical activity, healthy options. Um, in terms of physical activity, sometimes when we were in um, PE or we're in school, physical activity be, would be used as a punishment or withheld as yeah. punishment. And Get down and do 100. That's right. <laughs> and we don't want it associated yeah. with something negative. And then uh, we also would get candy for reward for good behavior mm -hmm. in school. Well, we don't want the food to be associated with a re reward. So that's also part of the policy. And recess should be protected. And then staff development time should also be protected. And Lola, we've got some tips uh, mm -hmm. in terms of how to combat obesity. And some uh, these are pretty simple. Less TV or computer time, enjoyable physical activity. That's what you were just talking about. Right. Drink more water, mm -hmm. uh, involvement in uh, meal preparation, so, you know, make mm -hmm. kitchen time fun. Right. Also, eat more fruits and veggies. Those are definitely tips that even adults can follow. And you had something interesting, too, about preventing obesity from infancy. Uh, really quickly, what's that oh, about? Oh, that's through breastfeeding. Um, we find in studies that um, children who are breastfed, and uh, as adults uh, as well, um, have less risk for obesity if they are breastfed. All right, Lola Irvin, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. And good luck with this uh, pretty big problem uh, nationwide. Uh, Kenny, back to you.